I, I've been working with Spring Point for a little over a year, but I spent many years in schools and uh, was part of um, two schools. Uh, two, I was founding staff for two schools. And 10 years ago, um, I found myself in the South Bronx. And um, I was doing the work of um, what we call there an enrichment coordinator, meaning someone who is calling and curating all the opportunities throughout New York City so that um, kids can do internships, ki kids can do job shadowing, kids can do all sorts of out-of-school time opportunities. And uh, we were really using this role as, as a way to create a pipeline um, to college access and to really create the professional network that we know kids need to be able to go on to college and then, and then in the work world. And so, um, you know, I was, uh, you know I, I was eager and I was earnest and um, a new ninth grader walks into my office and, and he's been told that I'm the lady with a list of opportunities, right? So, and he knows that I'm going to hook it up because I've got this list and it's telling him everything that's going on in the city that they can do after school. And so he was an actor and he comes in with like a huge grin. Uh, he tells me his name is Alex. He's ready to be an actor. He's ready to be on stage. And I'm like, okay, I don't have anything for you right now, but I know that I'm going to search for something for you and make it work, right? And uh, so that was in the beginning of September. So over the next few weeks, I get to know this student as I got to know many of our students, because that's really the way that, um, that, that we in our school, we approached our work, right? Um, designing it in response to, to the kinds of interests and the kinds of needs that the kids are presenting with. And so I get to know this young person, and, um, and, and I quickly learned that um, he's homeless. And, He's in a transient situation, and so uh, many of you are working with students um, that sort of that are presenting with the same situations. You know that um, they have trouble, like with transportation access. They have trouble potentially, like meeting the the uniform policy. Um, uh, they're in and out of um, temporary housing situations. Um, but this young man was so dedicated and so eager, and uh, I made it my business to make sure that he was going to have an opportunity that spoke to his interests. Um, and so. I will fast forward quickly to, um, to my life outside of schools. Um, and, you know, I, I, I often reflect on, like, the impact that I had there, right? You're, you're, like, in the fire of the work, day to day, not really sure, like, are we doing the right thing? Um, and, and always adjusting, and things are moving so fast. And um, I've, I, I've been out of schools for some time. I don't have, a, you know, direct contact with young people um, on a day-to-day -day basis now. But living in New York City, I see so many of our former students in Starbucks, on the street, coming and going from college. You see them. They are part of the world now. And so I, every time I see them, I ask them three questions as like a litmus test. I say, what's your life? Um, are you happy? And did we do right by you? And um, <laughs> they frequently tell me that they're, you know, they're in and out of college, they're working, you know, they're happy, they're, they're in relationships, they're, they're growing their families now. Um, and it's a beautiful thing to know that we, we had that impact. And um, this young man, Alex, uh, again, any, anyone that knew him knew that he was such a joy, even though he probably struggled with, um, you know, the, the kinds of... Uh, the kinds of day-to-day -day challenges that you and I may never know, um, and he still made it work in school. Um, and and I'm, I'm having brunch with a friend, and I, um, I, I step outside onto Broadway. It's a like, major thoroughfare in New York City, and I see this like tall young man like barreling towards me with this huge smile. And, and my friends that are, myth, are with me are like, what's going on? And he's like, Victoria, like, Victoria, do you know and he says to my friends, he says, do you know that this woman changes lives? Do you know that she placed however many students that had no idea what they were doing after school in like tons of jobs and tons of internships and she sent kids to California and she sent kids to Costa Rica and she sent kids all over the world to do these programs. And do you know that this lady's a superhero? Do you know who you're standing next to? And I, like, I, you know, as an emotional person, that, like, that really, um, that is the reason why I think, uh, I know I do this work and why, why I think you all do this work as well. So I wanted to share that story with you. And also, thank you. No. <laughs> um, thank you so much.